cartoonish motorcycle shenanigans. Boy, I haven't done a whole lot of uh, solo streams of late. Uh, I'm kind of slowing down on them. I'm still trudging through a uh, book of Mario, but uh, I didn't really want to read today. So, as has happened in the past, I decided to stick with uh, something familiar, something chill. And uh, I figured, you know what? I'm still in the middle of the Trials games. Why don't I start the third one? I think there's something you should know about me. I just happen to... Like Trials! I like danger! I like fire! I like... Chill. Nitro, I like getting in wild! I like a bit of... Blast, <laughs> Early, like that mid-2000s like chill. Boy, this is an unfitting menu theme for this game. Anyway, uh, Trials Evolution, the third one. And also kind of where I got into the series, because this was where I saw people, like... This is the game that I saw everyone doing on YouTube when I was first exposed to Trials. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't have a reset progress function, so... I'm kind of stuck with what I have for, uh, what, what I had previously started. But that's okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll replay through the levels again. That's not a big deal. I didn't get very far, it looks like. Hello, Darian. I remember you were here when I did Trials 2. Uh, well, there was quite a leap between Trials 1 being a Flash game and Trials 2, and this one also... I guess it looks like a mid-2000s game. This was Xbox 360, PS3, I believe. Can I lean with arrows? Yes, I can use arrows. This game is under 3 gigabytes. I don't know if that means games were more optimized back in the day or what, but it's just, I don't know, I find that kind of impressive. Bonk. Uh, oh, these are sets of levels. Okay. So these aren't... Just, I guess that makes sense. It wouldn't be just like, you know, 12 levels or how many this is. Alright. So I mention this every, every time that I play a, uh, a Trials game. But, uh, this is a type of game that, again, the first Trials game was a Flash game. And it kind of, not a whole lot of people know about this series. I think the, the game of this sort that kind of reached the largest, you know, place in public consciousness was Happy Wheels. Which I believe was after this game. It was after several Trials games had released. There's also a Spongebob Bodo Cross. I know one of one of the Vine Sauce streamers does that like every year as a charity thing. What I didn't know is that apparently there were Trials was not the first of these types of games. Which is not that surprising. It's it's a game that would have a lot of games like that like this. It's a fairly simple concept. But uh, the first one I found or the first one, as I'm aware of it, is something called Action Motocross. And then there was another series. There was like some Elasto something, and then Trials. And this is the only one that kind of continued going on. I think the most recent was Trials Fusion in the past few years. I don't remember when Fusion came out. We did a stream of the, of the beta, because that had like a, a tandem mode. Oh boy, oh boy, too fast. Nope. We're good, we're fine. We're not fine. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Oh 
obviously this is a much more like realistic tone than something like you know Happy Wheels, but uh, I say realistic with many quotation marks because obviously it's being very silly. This is like uh, Grand Theft Auto, quote unquote realistic. I feel like Achievement Hunter might have brought more exposure to these games. Oh yeah, that's well, that's how I was made aware of them. Is that they used to do a whole video series in the Trials... Trial series, Trials Files... Uh, hunt? Achievement Hunt or something? They do this game to, like, uh, play horse in a lot. It's a little unfortunate how, like, samey the games are. Which I, I'm a big fan of this series, but I'll, I'll admit, they, they kind of they kind of release the same game every few years. They're new levels. There's usually some new feature, like the tandem mode, or uh, I think the one after this added, like, four-player multiplayer, like four-lane maps. Maybe this one had that. But there's not usually some, like huge new thing that dramatically changes a, a new Trials game. I discovered the Trials series by playing one of the demos on Xbox 360. Was it uh, Trials HD? Because I know that was exclusive to the 360. It was a remake of Trials 1 with, you know, Trials 2 where this game's kind of uh, more fleshed out graphics. And actually, I believe I have the I have the gold edition of this game, so I have like the expansion pack, which includes what I think is a set of levels from Trials HD. The voice. Uh-oh, too much. Ah, I got too fancy. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was at least the game after this also had, like, a really... a really versatile, like, level creator. And when I say really versatile, I mean, like, people were able to make completely different games in it. Some of the uh, some of those trials files, but the trials files was a series of achievement hunter videos that showed off like user created levels, and some of them were just outrageous. Uh, someone someone recreated the game Warlords in this game. I think someone made a Super Monkey Ball style, like fully 3D Super Monkey Ball style. I don't know how it functions. But it is not on a 2D plane, like this gameplay is. Like, people just completely broke this engine backwards. And speaking of user-created content, I finally saw the trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, I've never actually played a Grand Theft Auto game, but I have watched many videos in Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5 and it looks like a lot of silly fun online, so maybe, possibly, I'll be able to get in on the ground level on this one. I don't really care about the single player in Grand Theft Auto, but I think it would be very cool if it was, uh... If it had the same amount of, like, insane stuff that Grand Theft Auto V eventually had, we're probably not gonna get that right away. The coolest looking thing in Grand Theft Auto V was like the... I gotta say this right. The Cunning Stunts DLC. Make sure you say that right. Because it was like Hot Wheels tracks. And that was... I thought that was so awesome. I want to play like a silly online game with Hot Wheels tracks. I love games with uh, very elaborate user-created uh, user-created game modes. It's why I love worms. 
even if no one will play the user game modes with me, because they're too hard. I think I was supposed to go through the window. I don't think it worked. Alright, well I guess this is where I left off. Let me go back, because I wanna I wanna try the HD. Let's go to the HD warehouse. Let's try the trials HD levels. I guess I hadn't started these. Uh, minefield of explosive actions. I assume these are HD levels, given that it's called the HD warehouse. I also assume that I should be using, like, the faster bike. I guess it's not always strictly an advantage if a level is more, like, uh, more narrow and tight. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm just an idiot on a motorbike. Okay, so I've attempted this before because I have a ghost that I'm racing. My ghost is doing much better. Never mind. I was trying to look up before the stream. Hey, how do I reset my progress in this? I, I want to start from a blank slate for a stream. And all I found was like a Steam post where someone else was trying to figure out how to reset their progress. And uh, the devs, I don't know if it was someone from Red Links or from Ubisoft, was like, wait, what? Wait, why do you want to do that? We never thought anyone would want to do that. And so, no, there's no way to reset your progress in this game. Although, why... Why do I have ghosts if I don't have these levels completed? What's going on? Did it erase my Trials HD time somehow, but not my regular campaign progress? I don't know. I deleted some files before the start of this. Maybe the... Maybe the regular campaign is saved in the cloud, like the Ubisoft game cloud, but DLC progress isn't? That would be so bizarre. Level sound okay, by the way? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ragdoll physics. You're so 2010. Another game that... Wait, did I just... I think I just chose to do it over for some reason. Whoops. Another game that's kind of, sort of, not really in this family would be, like, uh, Guts and Glory. Now, I say that because it's not really the same type of game. Guts and Glory is not, like, a 2D motocross game like this. More, it's inspired by Happy Wheels, which is inspired by this, so it's like two degrees of separation from Trials. One day I will get those predecessors I talked about, though. I'll get, uh... I'll get, uh, Extreme... Uh, action Motocross. That's the that's the first one. I'll get Action Motocross, and I'll get Elasto, whatever, 1 and 2. And I'll stream those to see how they compare to Trials. They're all on Steam. So they are not, uh, Trials 1 isn't on Steam. Trials 1 isn't on anything. I had to get, uh... Well, you know, that's not true. I streamed Trials 1. It was, uh... It was a standalone executable that Red Links made. 
just to preserve the game. They made something called Trials Legends. It's just uh, the Flash game and everything. Which is cool. I like when devs go out of their way to, uh, to preserve things. Let me try that again. I, I, don't, I want to get without the bail. Getting the gold medals actually does matter in this because... Uh, they're worth varying amounts of points, and you need a certain number of points to unlock new levels. So getting a gold medal is actually three, three times the progress of a, pro of a bronze medal. Just never stop holding X. It's like Smash Brothers, you never stop holding forward. That's what the pros do, right? We're on the, we're on the, the very basic easy levels so far. We're not going to get any of the really wacky stuff. We're not going to get the, the, the frustration. Fuck. We're not going to get the real frustration until we get to, like, the insane levels. That are going to have me, like, ride up a hill backwards in the snow. We'll get to those. They're in every Trials game. As a rule of thumb, you kind of just want to stay on the ground as much as possible in this game. Like, yeah, you can benefit from doing big jumps, but uh, the more time you spend on the ground, the more time you're, you know, accelerating and gaining speed. So smooth jumps are good. Vaguely, like, Donkey Kong-sounding music track, this one. Damn it. Actually, I wonder who was, uh... I wonder who was involved in the development of this game. Or rather, I wonder if Ubisoft was involved in the previous ones, or if this was the first Ubisoft Trials. I know Red Lynx has always been the devs of the Trial series. I just don't remember when Ubisoft got involved. Unless they were there from... Maybe they were there from the beginning, and I just don't know what I'm talking about. Nexon got a little flack recently. Because uh, Dave the Diver was nominated for an Indie Game Award, despite being published by Nexon, who is a you know fairly big game publishing company. I don't know if they were involved in its production at all. Uh, Nexon, I know, as the people who bought Maple Story after it became successful and went on to kind of you know, ruin it. I don't know what else Nexon does. I, there's some other, like, uh, MMO-type games that they've gotten their hands in. Well, this actually gives me quite a bit of wiggle room, the fact that I have these DLC levels to uh, get extra medals in. Because it looks like they count towards my, like, main campaign medal count.
All right, well, we got a new license test. That's nice. It's going to be weird because we did because we started this like without resetting progress. We're going to like play through, you know, 20 events and then suddenly we're going to get voiceover. Like, I'm pretty sure this game had, like, uh, Hey, welcome to the world of trials. Here's your motorbike. Here's all the skills that you need to know. Etc, etc. And we just, we skipped all that because we skipped the intro of the game. If there was an intro. I know there's like, uh, there's squirrels all over these levels, they're little collectible squirrels. In various, like, hidden, like, easter egg spots. I don't know if there's anything you unlock for getting them. I think there might be achievements for the squirrels. Kind of similar to the uh, the aliens in Tony Hawk, one plus two, or the crates in Crash, uh, Nitro Fuel. I still haven't returned to that. I don't think I ever streamed that game. I I have it on the Switch because they didn't announce that it would be on PC until like way later. Actually, is it? Did that one make it to PC or was that skipped over? Crash Four made it to PC eventually. Nitro Fuel might never have done so. But boy, I never even came close to doing everything in that game. There's so much shit to do. know what this this game's musical motif is it's more modern than Tony Hawk it's not like 90s grunge or anything this isn't new metal but it's like that era of music in the in the mid to late 2000s the NTs whatever you want to call them I guess Burnout kind of... No, no, not really. I was trying to think of other games that kind of fit into this musical era. Or this, uh, this era of motif. But no, Burnout, like Paradise, still had a lot of, like, older tracks. And a pretty wide mix of music tracks. Boy, I'd love another game like Burnout Paradise. We just have to settle for for, for uh, Forza Horizons because the, that's the closest thing that exists anymore. God damn it. It's fine. I enjoy playing the Horizon uh, Forza Horizon games enough, I guess, but I, I think it's a common complaint I've heard. It's just kind of big, empty maps. Like, the map is big, but it's all just kind of realistic roads and there's not a whole lot to do, or, uh, like, Burnout Paradise was full of, like, little secret tunnels and, and hidden areas and things, and signboards and, and lots of things to collect. There was so much to do in Burnout Paradise, and there's just kind of not in the Forza games. I want, I want more, like, uh, vehicular exploration games. Maybe not too many more, but just one good continuing series of it would be nice. What are they doing with the Burnout franchise? Nothing? Have they done a game since Paradise? I don't think they have.
I kind of hate to say it this way, but uh, in some ways, vehicular games have just kind of been absorbed into two franchises. Mario Kart and GTA. Because outside of those... Like, who really buys Forza or Need for Speed games other than... You know, really big racing game nuts. Those are not mainstream games. Or people like me who just want to chase the, the Burnout Paradise High that we're never going to get again. I know the earlier Burnout games were also supposed to be pretty good, and I just, I just never got around to playing them. I had Burnout 3, I think, at a friend's house when I was a kid. It was fun, like, multiplayer nonsense, the, the, the detonation to, to cause as much damage as possible mode or whatever. I'm not doing good this level. I need to get it together. I didn't actually play a lot of racing games as a kid. It wasn't until my friend got me, but like my friend who loved them in the PS3 era, Road Rocket started, like uh, we started playing games together. Because we could finally do that in the PS3 era. There was like real working online. It wasn't until then that I kind of started playing a bunch of them just because those are what he had, so that's what we played together. But before that, no, I, I played Mario Kart Double Dash, I guess. Didn't even play the other Mario Karts, just that one. It's that lip. It's that lip that keeps flipping me. And you know what else I had? I had Driver 2. And I don't think I ever got past the tutorial. I never really did much of anything in Driver 2. I was terrible at that game. Missed Grand Theft Auto. I never had those as a kid. Which, you know, they're not kids' games, so obviously. Not that that stopped most people. I know a lot of my friends when I was like, you know, 10 or 12 were playing Grand Theft Auto and uh, Halo was big. Amusingly, friends who were not allowed to play Pokemon because Pokemon was satanic, but, uh, you know, going around sealing and killing people was fine. Not the lip. Nope, we're good. Okay. Good run. Maintain it. God, it took way too long just to get that. Now oh, I'm gonna miss the jump again! Okay, there's two annoying jumps in this level. I don't think my bike is fast enough to make that. It might be, just barely. Maybe I should do the... Maybe I should get the license exam and get the better, better bike. Ah, oh, that's bronze. You know what? I'm gonna do that. No, I need a better bike. Where's the B exam? Uh, here we go. A uh, top speed maximum. Yeah, give me that one. Require a careful set. Careful. <laughs> careful nothing. Okay, here we go. Now, now we're getting, like, the tricks. Okay, it reset me. <laughs> that messed with me. That messed with my momentum. I wasn't expecting them to do that. Accelerate hard and flick. Flick. At the, again, with the reset, stop doing that. Maybe I back first and then... No. Oh. 
Did I do it? There we go. Fizax. Y'all like Fizax? They were they were novel back not back then. I they, they weren't that novel. Half Life was all about Fizax. All right, new bike acquired. Let's try this again. We had to leave. We had to do a training arc. Now we are Super Cycle 2, and we got this. I don't know if we'll go back to Tony Hawk 1 plus 2 again. Ow! But uh, I've been messing around in the Create a Park. And boy, that has some issues. It, it really needs like a snap function. It has one, but it's very, very inaccurate and it doesn't like to work very consistently. It, it really needs a grid and it doesn't have one, which makes it extremely difficult to make everything line up just perfectly. And it's very important that everything lines up perfectly, or it looks like really ugly in that type of game. I've never tried to make a Trials level. I don't know how difficult it is. Or how uh, user-friendly the, uh, the level and creators are. Again, talking games after this one, because I don't think this one had a level editor yet. Maybe it did. Maybe I'm wrong. Nice, easy levels. Uh, I can't do this yet. I can do some skill games and tournaments. I think tournaments are just like you do every track in a sequence. So I don't really want to do tournaments on stream. But, I should do some skill games because I haven't, uh, I've skipped over those thus far. Is this skill game? No, this is more tracks. Okay. What well, we're doing this a little out of order because we're not supposed to have this bike for these yet. But I don't care, I'm a filthy cheater. I if they're not going to make any more Trials games, I don't know if they are or not, but uh, if they're not, I mean, fuck it. Do something like this in Grand Theft Auto. Add like, uh, add like a game mode or some, some accommodating function to make it so that you can make uh, 2D courses like this. I'd be down for that. I don't really mind Grand Theft Auto, like, usurping the... the realistic racers, because... For the most part, I don't find them to be all that different from one another. And if they can do it well, it's not a whole lot that's lost. I don't like how Mario Kart is kind of usurping like all the non-realistic racing games. 
because I think those have a lot of like potential for fun and varied gameplay. And we're not... We don't really get all of that in Mario Kart, especially like F-Zero. Boy, I would love more F-Zero, but we're not going to get it because, look, there's there's Big Blue in, in Mario Kart and Captain Falcon. Well, it's like basically F-Zero, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! I ruined it. Ruined it. Man. I really want to do it with no faults, though, because I, I think most levels you need to do it faultless to get the gold. If you have one fault, then it's silver at best. When we get to a point in the game that I am, like, really struggling to do faultless, then, then I'll settle for, for silver. We're not at that point yet. Imagine they just said, fuck it, and they put Spongebob officially in the next Trials game, in, in his Bodo Cross boat. That'd be pretty funny, actually. What was it that, uh... Was Spongebob in Fortnite? No, it was, uh, Brawlhalla. Like, despite Nick All-Star Brawl 2 coming out soon they did a crossover event where they put Spongebob characters in Brawlhalla. Which I found kind of weird. Is that what happened? Did I hit the did I hit the point where, like, Faultless was too hard so I stopped playing? This was apparently the last level I did when I, uh, when I was playing. Just off-stream. Imagine GTA goes the Fortnite route, or the Call of Duty route. Call of Duty's doing the same thing, where it's got, like, uh, Crash Bandicoot weapons and Alucard from Helsing in it, and it's just this weird, giant, silly crossover that kind of has nothing to do with the, the original, like, comparatively realistic war setting of the games. That was still silver, huh? Does it say what I need for gold? 46 seconds. Oh, I'm so close. You know what? I'm doing it again. Like, what if Grand Theft Auto just does that same thing? And just starts having, like, ridiculous guest characters in the Grand Theft Auto setting. We're gonna have Spongebob running around and shooting people in Vice City. Like, on one hand, I feel like that probably wouldn't happen due to the nature of Grand Theft Auto as a series. But at the same time, it could, because that's just what every game is doing now. They just, they just all gotta be these big crossover fests, because that's what sells. Maybe not Spongebob, but, uh... The types of series that appear in Call of Duty... Like Helsing, like more, you know, ad adult-oriented things. God, imagine Alucard in Grand Theft Auto. Spider-Man. The Tony Hawk games did a lot of weird crossovers. They did it before it was cool. Not that I'm necessarily condoning it, because they got, like, kind of silly towards the end. I don't know if Underground 2 needed to cross over with Shrek, but uh, it did. They did do that. They also crossed over with Call of Duty. There was a Call of Duty soldier playable in, I think, Underground 2. Okay, I'm so close, but I think I just need to, like... I need to let off the gas a little bit on some of these jumps. 
so that I can land more smoothly and keep mm -hmm. my tires on the ground longer. There we go. Cut off a little bit. Being smooth is the most important thing. I say as I lose to myself. I'm catching up a little bit. Okay, maybe not that much. I, I let off too much. That was too relaxed. Here we go. Here we go. Jump! I hate that part. I'm going to beat my previous self. I'm going to get the gold that I could not get. I don't care how long it takes. I don't know if we're gonna do everything in this game on, on stream. I think we, I think we ended up doing most of it in Trials too. But there is a point at which these games like just get hard enough that I don't know if I can do everything in a timely fashion. Like there's a threshold at which it's just be going to become boring to watch me slam my head against the wall over and over again. Can you imagine watching me just do the same thing over and over again without making any progress? Boy, that'd be unfun to watch. Why would anyone watch that? Why is other me so fast? Maybe the other bike is better for this. Maybe the C-Class bike is just, like, better... Like, the, these these slopes are just made for its speed, rather than mine? I'm using a strictly faster bike, so you would think that I would be gaining on my Ghost. Well, you know what, no, my, my Ghost is the one from my previous attempt. So it is, it's using the same bike I am, never mind. Let off a little bit on that slope, because I, I gotta make that landing clean. That's what I'm still missing. The headlight is more useful than you would think, just to tell exactly... ...like, what angle you are relative to the ground. You wouldn't think it would be that helpful, but it, it really is. A little bit. Land. Yes! Get up there. Come on, keep going. 46 seconds. Do it! Okay. Maybe that'll be an outlier. Maybe the next level will be easier. What is this ghost? So I've done- I've attempted this level before, otherwise there wouldn't be a ghost. Right? I'm not crazy for thinking that.
There's a couple levels that, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a squirrel for just, like, sitting and letting the end of level play for longer than you would normally do. I don't remember which ones they are, though, and I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here for, like, 60 seconds at the end of every level. Uh-oh! Oh, that's a bad, that's a bad angle. I gotta let off. Smooth. There we go. Oh, I don't like these jumps. These jumps are positioned so that you have to, re like, release the gas at very specific intervals. Keep restarting. I'm going to start at the beginning every time until I'm ready to give up on the golds. I think there are platinum medals. I think at some point you get, uh, you unlock, like, extra difficult platinum times. There might be some golds later on that don't require zero faults. I'm, all the platinums definitely do. I'm also not an expert, though, so maybe I'm, maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. This is very metal for a game like this. I don't know, maybe I'm weird for finding this weird. I just, it just doesn't just, this just doesn't seem like fitting music for motocross to me. Again, I don't really know what would be. I think, you know, I, I think the later games get it. Have a more, like, uh, a more fitting soundtrack. I think the latest one, Trials Rising, has a sort of, like, uh, not electronic, but, I don't know, airier soundtrack? This is almost like it. This is almost bordering on like country metal, like something that would play for a, a, a monster truck game. Almost. Okay, no, it's, it's nothing like that, but. Oh boy, oh boy. Slopes, steep slopes. <sighs> Wait. Squirrel? No, no squirrel. They just, they added a fancy camera angle for that particular place to crash. One of my uh, previous Trials 2 streams got uh, nailed on YouTube because I played the I played Burl Ives I'm going down the road feeling bad one of the versions of the song that was not to my knowledge used in Getting Over It but the song from Getting Over It I lost to whatever ghost that was, but I still got the gold medal. I mean, we got three left in this set. It's weird that we're only three bikes in and we've already gotten the, like, maximum speed stat, apparently.
probably saw at the title screen of this game. The, uh, the three, like, slots that just loaded infinitely. Those were, uh, I assume, user-level showcases. Kind of sad to see, go back to old games like this and just see them, like, not functioning anymore. Mod Nation is the same, because it's, like, it's World Hub prominently featured user-created content. It's always a shame in games like these when that uh, no longer functions, because you can never quite get the same game experience again. Although I mentioned during my PC SX3 Mod Nation emulation attempt stream that uh, there are efforts to get the game, like, fully functioning online again. So that would be cool if that happened. I wonder if there's RNG to these. If, like, if my ragdoll had gone a little further down the cliff, if there would have been a squirrel. Probably not, but as an example, I wonder if there's RNG contingent squirrels in this game. I was curious. Oh wow, I go reverse slowly. Oh, okay. That looked like maybe an area I could reverse to find a squirrel. Is it just is the is it the platinum time? Is that the ghost? Who is this ghost? I'm still just breezing through most of these levels. That that one that I stopped at previously, the one I had a silver and gave me a headache, but the others, these have been fine. We're probably going to start getting, like, the tricky levels after the C exam. The, or sorry, the B exam. Alright, 75. What does that get us? New event. New rider gear. I haven't looked at the gear yet. Just, I haven't been looking at, like, the, uh, the level descriptions. Alright. Good start. Just, uh, fused with a tire there. Okay, that started like Kingdom Hearts music, and then it turned into anime music video music. You know what it is? That's what I associate this type of music with. It's like, uh, like, Enti's Edge and anime music videos. This is the kind of stuff that everybody in middle school and high school was listening to. I was never really a part of that. I was I got into like power metal pretty early. I grew up on folk music. I've always been like I've always been into more like uplift uplifting music. I don't really get angry music very much. Well, I'll listen to it. I'll listen to anything, but... Yes, anything. No, I'm not one of those people who just says they listen to anything. No, I've got Wesley Willis. Uh, 
What the, what the fuck is that band? Staple, uh, staple tapeworms on my penis. Okay, maybe I don't listen to them, like, religiously, but I'm aware of them. System of a Down, Burl Eyes. J-pop, K-pop, A-pop, H-pop. Ah, oh, silver. Okay, what do I need for gold? 37 seconds. What did I get? Ah, uh, just, okay, under a second. If I'm less than a second away, I gotta try again. I can't just take that. I don't think it's Jack Black, but that does sound a little bit like Jack Black, that particular voice option. There's two to choose from in this game. I know in one of the games, I think it might be the most recent one, it might be Rising, The uh, some of the Achievement Hunter guys from the previously mentioned, you know, Trials Files and other such series, got to, uh, they got to do some of the character voices, which is cool. I'm gonna have fun with that when I get to that game. They also did some of the, some of the Worms voices. They, like, they each have, a they have worm sound banks in some of the, in one of the more recent Worms games. It might be, uh, WMD. Damn it. That's another series that kind of, kind of puts out the same game every time. Which is... I, I can kind of accept it for this series because I don't know how much there is to do with it. But it's kind of heartbreaking for Worms because there was... I, I was a big part of the Worms Armageddon online community. And that was a game with outrageous user customization. Like I mentioned this on every Worms Armageddon stream. You could play on any PNG image. You could use custom sound banks so your Worms could sound like anything movie quotes, or whatever you wanted to use for sound files. But because of the... because you could play on any image, people would make like, very elaborate custom game modes. That would just add so much to the game beyond the normal Worms gameplay. Like, it was so much more than just, you know, the turn-based blow each other up. Which is fine, but regular Worms is fun for a while, but the user game modes really added a ton of replay value, and that just hasn't happened again in the in the Worm games since. Oh. Oh, I got a long way from the A license test. I need 135 medals for that. Uh, let's see, skill games... I need A license and trophy Death Valley. Okay, so these two are like post-game stuff practically. It's like uh, it doesn't like go back down and loop again. It's it's like a it's like a U curve. I need a hundred for that. What can I do in the warehouse? Hey, let let me check the the gear stuff because I haven't been in here yet. donkey. The, the the meme machine. The 60cc, the slow one. I think there were some, like, user challenges or something that were built around the donkey. What headwear have we got? Uh, wow, these are kind of expensive, but they also don't meaningfully seem to change much. That one looks alright. Spacesuit helmet? Top hat. Gotta. Gotta do the top hat. Uh, colors. How do we do colors? There we go. 
a nice solid black top hat. There we go. Let's get let's look nice and silly. What else do we got? Shirts. I was about to make a joke about being a biker, but I literally am a biker, so yeah, I can't make those jokes. Ancient armor. Okay, well that's very mimetic, but it doesn't really go with, like, the top hat look, so I think I'll probably do the leather vest. What do we got for other, other stuff? Cargo pants. Just pants. Spacesuit bottom. Yeah, the pants don't change much. Gloves. Just kind of stock standard. Boots. Stock standard. Don't look all that different for one another. Wait, I can just be barefoot. Okay, sure. Yeah. Let's be as naked as possible. Let's be the naked top hat man. Uh, race pants. Yeah, race pants. There we go. Can we make them black? I want to be a black leather daddy. Okay, that's a little too black. Okay, you know what? No, it's appropriately black. Let me make the shirt a little darker. Let me do that. Oh, I can't! Alright, that's fine. Take the gloves off, though. Alright, naked top hat leather man is good to go. Uh, let's check out the skill games. We haven't looked at these yet. Inside the ball. Okay, so these these are all these are like mini games. There's a lot more of them than I expected there to be. Outside the ball. Ugh. Uh oh, I can pick any of the bikes. I I can even pick the the final one that I haven't unlocked yet. Uh Top speed accelerate. Why is it well, hold on, I'm confused. The top speed for the Rattler is 2, and it's 125cc. The top speed for the Donkey is 6? But it's less than half that engine power? Let's try the Donkey. Okay, I picked that because the goal in this one is not time. It's to, uh... To stay inside the inside the ball. Uh oh! No no no! There I go. Well, I did not get very far. Let me give it another shot. I figured it would be, like, a benefit to go with the slowest vehicle, but, uh, I, maybe it's not. Maybe you want a faster one so you can adjust to, uh, like, sudden changes like that when it drops. That's fine. I'm not gonna put too much stock into the minigames. I'll just, I'll just try them each once. Oh, I don't get to pick my vehicle for this one. I just get a skis one. Hold on. I just looked at the instructions. Bail out and fly with left and right stick. What do you mean, fly? Well, I wiggled my stick. It didn't seem to do much. Wiggling. No, I, I, I don't understand how to fly. Oh well. 
80 meters. There's something about that I'm clearly missing. Ring of fire. Try flying through as many rings of fire as you can. So this is 250 cc. It's a lower speed in theory than the Scorpion. But it's got better acceleration and agility. Huh. I don't know what agility is. I guess maybe it spins faster, it's more like wieldly. Oh, okay. I see what this is one of the ones where your bike has like a booster, like a jet booster attached to it. Spyro, this is not. Still probably better than Superman 64, though. I'm turning back too much. And there I go. Maybe a slow one would be better for that. Or at least one with the... Maybe that's where the agility stat would matter. Maybe I would want to use the one with the, the max agility. Uh, your bike is attached to a delivery cart filled with explosives. Is this like speed? Like, I have to maintain a certain... Or no, it's like I can't jostle them too much. Okay, I get it. Bronze metal. So what's silver? Uh, 50 meters. Let me try that again, because I'm not understanding how to get, like, further in that. Okay, so it's just how far they go before they blow up. I thought I passed, like, a, like a finish line. I didn't. Smash yourself against obstacles to break your bones. Okay. That sounds fun. I'm in. I don't think I went very far. Did I win? I did so well the first time and now I can't replicate it. Well, so well. I did better than this, at least. There we go. Alright. 38. Look at him wiggle. It's like a uh, skate. Alright, silver. I'll take it. Once you're engulfed in flames, only speed can douse them. So this is the speed one. This is, this is the one where I have to, like, maintain speed in order to not die. Like, the goal of this game mode is to ride fast, but that's kind of the goal of the base game anyway, so this doesn't feel like it adds a whole lot. Oh, uh-oh. 
I see the problem. I got gold anyway, though. Uh, target hunt. Smash the targets with your bike. We're ultra 2D for this one. I got bronze for that. You really get bronze just for, like, playing these at all, don't you? Now, let me rotate up. I can do better than six. I don't know if I can get those right away. I don't think I can do get a big enough jump off of this to get them, rather. Ah, fuck it. I'm not too invested in the minigame modes in this. It's nice that they're included as novel, but... I'm not very good at them. Oh boy, here we go. The, get the getting over it level. Ah, uh, I, I shouldn't have ungassed. That was it. Fifty meters. I can hit fifty. Let, let me try that again. I was going up thinking, well, it can't be as easy as just hold the accelerate button. And it's not. I guess I was just doing better at that point than I gave myself credit for, but... Get up there. No, higher. Ah. Ah, you let it off at the gap and then you're done. Just, that's it. Get up. Get up. Naked Leather Man is not having a good day. All right. He's stuck. I can't get him out. There he goes. I wonder if I could bail a little higher. Uh, last one. Outside the ball. I don't even get to choose my bike this time. Ah, nope. Okay, so I have to stay on the back of the ball. Kind of. I didn't get very far on that. So I can use reverse to, like, gain a little ground again, but... It seems like I mostly want to stay on the back. So you might have noticed that uh, the rider is stuck on a 2D plane. However, objects are free to move in 3D space. All right, 10 away from another event. That's fine. What else is there? Tournament? Nope, not doing tournaments. Uh, let's try the medium levels. I'm just jumping around between the uh, the warehouse DLC and the main game, but that's fine. I'll, I would do both eventually. I wonder if the bikes are always the same in Trials games. 
if it's like always the scorpion and I'm pretty sure it's always the donkey pretty sure the donkey is always in these games because that's like the trials joke machine Uh, I remember a lot of the Grand Theft Auto custom content could be funny because uh, some of them would limit you to like uh, like little scooters and things. Oh boy. Nope. Bad landing. There was a car in Forza 4 or 5? Forza Horizons. That was like a it was like a little tiny three-wheeled smart car that could only go a maximum of 40 miles per hour. That was the that was the joke vehicle of the game. I never got around to it, but I considered doing a stream of of that game. But I would only use that vehicle and just like do a Sunday drive around the game world. I thought that'd be silly. That eh, that. Eh. Uh. Unlike the uh, unlike the PS3 era, I tend to mostly play games on mute these days. Because I'll do them while I'm like watching YouTube video, watching YouTube videos or something. When I'm not, I obviously while I'm streaming, I'm focusing on the game have the game audio on for you guys, but... Anyway, I don't know what the radio in the Forza Horizon series is like. Because I just don't listen to it like I did in Burnout. Burnout, that, that was a great thing about Burnout Paradise, is that uh, it had a custom radio function, so you could just, like, uh, you could just stick MP3 files on your PS3, and it would play them on the game's radio. I wish more games did stuff like that. Unfortunately, yeah, obviously the, the state of copyright and all that makes it difficult to do something like that for streaming's sake. Well, I say that, that usually the included soundtracks in these games will get you like copyright fucked anyway. So, not that big a difference, I guess. The most recent Tony Hawk stream, I had to, uh, I had to turn down twice in posts, because for some reason, that one, and only that one, got just, like, completely shut down on YouTube. The previous two were fine, but that one just got blocked by, like, 50 people. I wonder who's in this soundtrack. Trials Evolution Soundtrack. I'm just curious. Because it sounds like it's licensed music. There's four different versions of the of the the title menu wrap. Uh Michael Reagan. Guglielmo Brunelli? Okay, I think think Michael Reagan is the one doing so this is not licensed music this is all music that was presumably made for this game just using this style of music I was convincing I guess given that I thought it was licensed music I also don't really listen to a lot of this type of music though so maybe I don't have the best uh, best perspective
Uh, it bounces. I see. I see what's going on. All right, we're getting the dy dynamic levels now. Well, the fact that it's not licensed music is good for me, because that, that means this stream's not going to be shit-canned on YouTube. Hopefully. If it is, we'll know exactly who to blame. I don't really like going, like, slow and steady in this game, but... Levels like this, I feel like I have to. Because there's a lot of wacky shit happening on this level. The first level ended with them dropping a piano on our heads. We knew what this was. Hey, you know what was popular in the mid-2000s? Naruto. Yeah, Naruto and Sasuke in Trials. They're in Fortnite, aren't they? Wasn't Naruto one of the many, many things to, like, cross over with Fortnite? I am so ready for, like, a, another good jump game. I never got to play Jump Superstars, Jump Ultimate Stars, was that what it was called? The, the DS games that were just, like, they were Smash Brothers with anime. And that sounds awesome! I love that! And they were supposedly pretty good, too, from what little I've heard about them. But we don't get that anymore. Instead, we get we get jump force. That's that's what they're doing with the jump the jump stuff nowadays. Okay, I gotta really like slow down when I'm doing that bounce. Otherwise, I'm gonna not have the time on the bar necessary to seesaw it to the angle I want. I can words. I'm a wordsmith. No, 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 no. Eh. think of a whole lot of stuff that I would like a Smash Brothers type game for. I'm glad it's happening. I'm glad Smash Brothers is getting like actual competition. But like multiverses, well, A had many problems as a game and B just kind of feels like a licensing mess of so many wildly different properties that it doesn't end up feeling very cohesive. If it was just Cartoon Network properties, maybe. If it was Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion, but good, I'd be all over that. That's also because Cartoon Network had a good number of, like, uh, shows that would involve characters who might get into combat situations. Nickelodeon kind of doesn't. And that's why I'm not... I'm, I'm glad that uh, All-Star Brawl is apparently... Well, the second one. Is apparently a decent game. In terms of gameplay. But, like, it's inherently gotta be, like, very cartoony compared to Smash Brothers just because of the types of characters that are in it. Like, when you're kids on the playground, you talk about who would win in a fight between Mario and Sonic. 
you don't really talk about who would win in a fight between SpongeBob and Mickey Mouse. You know? When you use wacky, car like, comedy cartoon characters, it just doesn't quite have the same... It doesn't scratch the same itch, I feel. The anime would be great. A Smash Brothers anime crossover type game. That'd be something I think a lot of people would be into. I'm not giving up on gold just yet. I still think I could do this faultless. I would love a Disney Toon fighter. Well, I don't know how much I'd love it, but... Aside from an anime one, that would probably be the next thing I'd be most interested in, because... Most of the recent, like, Disney Channel-type cartoons have had some form of, like, action or combat element to them. Like, it makes more sense for, like, the Owl House or Star vs. the Forces of Evil, those characters, to be, you know, fighting than it does Spongebob and Rocco. I forgot which beam that was. I thought that was the second one that goes down at the end of it. We're getting the trials fatigue. I'm not paying as much attention as I need to anymore. What? No! I hit going too fast. Can I go up into that? That looks like it might possibly be a secret area. If that glass is smashing... Speaking of uh, cartoon dads, Hugh Neutron didn't come back for a Nick All-Star Brawl 2. That's tragic. After there was, like, so much fan demand. After there was, like, a f the first ever fan victory. Fans got a character into a, a game after so long. I guess there's, like, Ridley and K. Rool. And it's still very cool that those happen, but... Like, man... You give the fans what they want, and then you, you take them away as soon as you, like, start a good game. Cartoon dads are always the best cartoon characters. Not always, but a lot of the time. If there were to be a Disney Channel, Disney XD style fighting, you know, Smash Brothers type game. I would want most of the characters from action, including shows like Star vs. and Kim Possible. But I have one exception. Get Oscar Proud in there. Proud family is big enough, it gets a representation. Make it Oscar. Uh oh. Oh! Ugh. Man. I'm at uncharted territory now. I don't know what the level past that point is like. Maybe I should just, like, keep going. At least to scope it out. How much of this is... Okay, that's a seesaw. There's quite a bit to this level. That's death. That's not what you want to do. Okay, 44 seconds, two faults. I think I'm at the point where I'm ready to give up on getting all golds. I think I can take silver from this point on. Oh, see, this gold will accept one fault. So if I'd faulted one less time, I would have gotten the gold, actually.
No, no. Ah. Of course, if we're right at the beginning, there's no point in, like, not just starting over. So far, this seems way easier than the previous level. I can't wait to be proven wrong, though. Get up. Get up. No! Ah! there is to Happy Wheels. I tried it once. I know the bulk of that game's content was user-generated. I don't know how much of it is, like, just a game in and of itself. Because I was thinking if I do end up doing the, uh, the action motocross and elasto game streams... Maybe eventually I would do, you know, a stream where I show off Happy Wheels and uh, Boto Cross, just for completion's sake. I don't know if I will. It does seem kind of unnecessary because everyone kind of already knows about those games. Although maybe not. I guess everyone in my generation knows about those games, but uh, if you're like 15 now in 2024. Maybe you've maybe you never heard of Happy Wheels. Maybe you missed that whole thing. Actually, seems pretty likely now that I think about it. I don't like that jump. That's the one bad jump in this level so far. And my tires are so bouncy. I keep bouncing in such a position that I do not have the necessary momentum to make this jump. I'm doing worse now that I'm slowing down. I should just keep, like, keep holding speed. It worked before. It'll work now. Barely. It's not ideal, but... speed there. Now there's the bouncing again. I hope there are more like uh, there are more silly customization options in the future trials games. That was another like shortcoming with Tony Hawk 1 and 2 the remakes. They got rid of all the, like, the wacky character customization items. I don't understand when game devs do that. Like, I get that they probably, they do it because they want the game to have a more realistic tone to it, but... Like, make that an option for the player. Let them choose whether they what, how realistic they want it to be. Let me play as an android clown with an exposed brain, if I so choose. Okay? Ah, there's gonna be bronze. Four faults, yeah. What do they want for silver? Two faults? I want to keep trying for at least silver. I'm not- I'm not at the point of taking no bronze yet. Ugh. My computer's chugging a little bit now. I wonder if that's the complexity of the levels or something else. Ah, 
how do I consistently get over that? Maybe it's just this bike isn't really made for it. Also, I either have to make it, like, cleanly on top of the beam or cleanly under it. Which is common sense saying it out loud, but, man, I would love to not continue smashing my face into it. Okay, zero faults, 36 seconds. That'll do. 35, I was kinda close to gold even. Oh, hello. What weird matrix space is this? I, the level was called Dreamscape. I guess that makes sense. I'm still not entirely sure who the ghost I'm racing is. Because it's not me. Despite what the name says. Hold on. I still have the... I still have the, the soundtrack site open. What is this entry? Trials Rising, Fusion, Evolution, HD, Trials 2, and Blood Dragon. What is what is Trials Blood Dragon? Trials of the Blood Dragon. Journey through a colorful war story. Colorful story with war zones in Vietnam? What? Developed by Ubisoft Red, Red Links and published by Ubisoft. 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 As a crossover game of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon and the Trials series. I've never heard of this. Well, it wasn't reviewed well. People didn't seem to like Trials of the Blood Dragon. I'll have to look up footage of that later. See what the hell that is. I don't think I'll do it, because I'm not, like, I've never played a Far Cry game. I know nothing about that series other than Crab Rangoon. I just, I learned a game existed today. What are they doing making a Trials crossover? Who's that gonna attract? Like, people who haven't played the Far Cry series, but who have played Trials. Like, all five of them are gonna be like, Oh, yeah, Trials! This will get me into the next Far Cry game. Oh, I guess there's the other way around. It could try to get Far Cry fans into Trials, but... They're such diff... Those are two such different franchises. Yeah, we're gonna cross Mario over with XCOM. Oh, wait, they did that. Kind of. I'm still kind of amazed that game did as well as it did. Mario and, uh, Rabbids. Because I hear a lot of comparisons to XCOM. It's that type of game. It doesn't seem like a type of game that fans of either the Mario or Rabbids franchise would, like, take to. But people did! People loved it! Make it. Get up! Ah! It's, I think it's generally better to take a little bit of a time loss than to take a bail. If I were playing on my own, if I weren't streaming and uh, press for time, I wouldn't take any bails. I would just keep trying until I got it, but. Uh, We got, like, two hours to make game progress, so I don't want to spend too long lingering. Alright, gold!
We're now at 100 medals. We need 135 for the, uh, for the A rank license, though. I feel like this game probably wasn't designed for me to take the Scorpion on every track. Not that that's going to stop me, because just like Breath of the Wild, big number, go burr. easier than the last several levels. What was that? Who arranged these? Alright, we're 32 away from the license test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll at least finish this set of levels. I'd intended for this to be a short stream, but I'm having fun. I like trials. I'm not getting tired yet. Eh. It's, it's okay. You can move if you need to. No. No! I hate those! I hate just careening into a stupid Donkey Kong walkway above me. That's the worst way to go out, is because I found out I had to, like, not gas as hard. Uh, the Nintendo theme park? I think that's open. I think that's complete. But they're still working on some sections. Like, they're making a Donkey Kong section that is not yet open yet. Not yet open yet. And it includes a uh, minecart ride that gives the illusion of jumping off the tracks. I'm not going to say it does jump off the tracks, because it kind of techni do technically doesn't. It's attached on the underside with like, uh, with, like, an arm that never, like, fully detaches from the cart or anything. But it's supposed to emulate the minecart levels, so looks neat. I'm not a big, like, uh, theme parks enthusiast, but, uh, Wicker's been losing his shit. Alright, what is that? 38 seconds. Silver. Gold is 37. Groundhog returns. Groundhog. I wonder if Achievement Hunter did any videos in Trials of the Blood Dragon. I don't know if they've done any videos in Far Cry. As the name suggests, they started out doing, uh, achievement guides on YouTube. They probably have some for Far Cry. I know I've seen someone do the, obviously, the Crab Rangoon ending of Far Cry 3? Is that the one with Pagan Min? I don't know the series well enough to remember if it was 3 or 4. This series would be hell for anyone who doesn't, like, know how to adapt at video games. Like, someone like Joel. Vine Sauce Joel. His approach to this type of game would just be smashing his head against the wall over and over and over again until he beats a level. 
And that works for a little while in this, but if it, there is a point in Trials where you're not going to get by unless you actually, like, learn the game. It's generally a hard but fair game. It is definitely a very hard series of games, though, towards the end of it. Uh, 29 seconds. Oh, I was close. If I reach a point where I'm, like, too short on medals to progress, I could do more of this game off-stream just to get to a point where we can continue. I don't know if I'll have to or not. Depending on how difficult the levels get, this looks like it could be a two-stream game. Yeah, no, get over, get over, get over. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Uh-oh. We're good. We saved it. Dead. Is that the function of this level? Is this supposed to teach us about just, like, knocking ourselves against shit? Vertically? Because there's a lot of that in this level. I wonder if Wicker's ever played a Trials game. There's a lot of series that are my favorite series that, uh, I don't know if this is one of my favorite series, but, I don't know, top ten, maybe? Maybe not. There's a lot of series that I do enjoy quite a bit that, uh, just kind of no one's heard of or no one's been exposed to. Tony Hawk isn't one of them. That reached a lot of people in its day. But, uh... At Mega Man Battle Network, almost no one remembers anymore. It has a very niche audience these days. Which is a travesty, because it's like an incredibly creative RPG. With just a completely unique, one-of-a-kind, you know, system to it. In a world where a lot of RPG games kind of aren't that creative... One second. Sorry, that was work. It has been very cold this week. And uh, schools have been closed every morning thus far. So I have not yet driven this week. Is there nothing down here? This looks so much like a place that they would hide a squirrel. That's why I've been going down here, because I... I just figured there was one down there. No, it's just a pit of TNT? Maybe I'm missing something. Anyway. Yeah, we got snow on Saturday or some such in the Vancouver, Washington area. And it just hasn't been warm enough to melt, so it's just stayed there all week long. We finally got rain today. And it's just served to, like, uh, solidify the snow into just a sheet of solid ice everywhere. So, uh, I have not left the house in a couple days. Oh, 
What's the next game after this? This is Trials Evolution. Afterwards is Trials Fusion. And then Trials Rising, which is the latest one. I wonder what the soundtrack in uh, Fusion is like. I think, because I own all these games, I think I bought them with the plan of just like playing them off stream. You know, just because, you know, I like the series, but. Then I started streaming them, and I thought, you know what? I want to save these games to experience them on stream. And so I just, I haven't played the other ones yet. They've just been sitting in my library, waiting for me to uh, continue the series. Ah! I don't like this level. Definitely the level's fault, and not mine, that I'm doing so badly at it. Three faults. That's not even gonna be silver, is it? Okay, still silver. Zero faults for gold, though. That's a very forgiving silver. Underground. Maybe we can make it to the A license on this stream. If we try hard enough and believe in the superpower of friendship. I'm sorry, I do find this music kind of funny. There were some games that had not exactly this type of, like, edgy, edgy metal rock music to them. It's, again, it's not quite new metal, but it's, uh, it's not too far from it. But, uh, I don't know, the, those games generally kind of worked for it better. Like, uh, Devil May Cry. Sean McPherson, I think, was the composer for those. And, uh, famously, Metal Gear Revengeance. Which, I don't know how much of that fan base, like, finds the music funny, and how much of it, like, actually likes the music. It's it's really hard to, to gauge how often people are just memeing with Revengeance. stream where I have to focus, and so the commentary is getting dry. Maybe it'll be a good stopping point after this set of levels, like this and the next one. Uh-oh. Ah! I thought that was the end of the level. I was That was a little too uh, optimistic of me. We're getting into the Trials Awkward Slopes. They've begun. End! Conclude! Finish! Okay, that's silver. That's fine. I agree that game has a weird dichotomy with its fan base. Like that song, It Has to Be This Way, is a really badass song, but it's been memed to hell and back. I can only think of everyone, like, memeing rules of nature.
I also don't know how effective the game was at, like, storytelling. But I don't think people were really playing the... Like, I don't think the fan base of that game played it for the story. I say that because they basically made Trump the bad guy of the game, and no one no one seems to care in real life, because here we are. <laughs> no, no one understood the warning. How far back did I just go? I wasn't paying attention. This is the final level, right? Of this pack? Yeah. Yeah, we finished the previous one. That That's how mushy brain I get after so much trials. I just, I lose track of what level we're on. It's okay. It's just part of the experience. Where are we going? No, right up. Oh, that didn't count. Give it a checkpoint. Oh, I could have done that faultless. One fault. Still good enough for gold. I'll take it. How many away from the license test are we? We are still 18 away. New turn and unlocked. Alright, so what else do we have to do? That was the medium set of levels. And this is the H this is the Trials HD level set. Not the not the main game. I didn't play Trials HD, I didn't stream that one because it's Xbox 360 exclusive and I don't have access to it. I haven't really looked into Xbox 360 emulation or what state that's in. So next up we have Terminal Velocity. Which is just levels. What is Collateral Damage? Is that also just levels? That is also just levels, it looks like. Okay. But I believe Gigatrack is the final regular level in the game. And then we'd have to do a little more to unlock these. We haven't looked at these skill games. Let, let's take a look at some of these, like, inbuilt skill games. Let's go through these and then we'll finish the stream. Stop at refueling stations for some extra juice. Okay, so the fuel, as you would expect, only gets used up when I press the accelerator. So I want to, I want to coast on this level. I guess Jack has this game. Like I saw him in the friends list, like the leaderboards. I just didn't know that he actually like played it. No! Ah! Man! No, I'm not taking that. I reached the fueling station and I just fucking flopped. I wonder if he has any of the others. Darian, do you have a... So you don't have any of the, any of the Trials games on, like, Steam or anything. Oh, I guess you don't, uh... You mostly play on, like, uh, PlayStation, not on PC. Oh, that's all I get? Oh, I gotta be real precise to get, like, the most out of that fueling. No, no, lean back! Ah! Well, I already have the gold, so I guess I've done that. 280 meters. I wonder what the gold was. I wonder if that's past gold, or if I did better, like, in a previous run. Freestyler, time to hit the slopes. What is this? Extra points are afforded from performing flips. Did I win? Can I still wiggle any? No, he can't wiggle. I, 
I love that there are like customization options to just put your rider in silly vehicles or on in no vehicles. I've seen some custom tracks where the uh, like you're just invisible. Actually, I'm sure there's several that function like that that require that to function. Like some of the weird ones, like the Warlords and the Monkey Ball. Oh, what? I crashed? Well, that probably wasn't a gold performance, but I already have the gold, so that's fine. Icarus Factor. Are you ready for the human evolution? Leaning back in my Steam library lately. Which, uh, which Worms games you've been playing? Oh, hello! Use delicate throttle to jump, then fly as far as possible. Delicate. I've been using the, uh, the X button. I've been using the X button to throttle. Which is just on or off. You're supposed to use the trigger, because that's, like, you know, gradual. I still don't really understand how you're supposed to flap in this game. I'm not good at flying. Revolution Pinball Reloaded. I forgot there was a Worms Pinball. I've never played that. Oh, hello. What is this? I'm sorry, did Red Lynx make a monkey ball level? I thought this was just something a user came up with. The editor allows you to make more than just tracks. Okay. Well, maybe I overestimated how creative that particular user was. But there's still a lot of, like, really crazy impressive levels in this game. Why is this just a function of this game? Why did they include, like, an undercooked monkey ball as a game mode? I'm not complaining, but... I haven't played any, like, uh, marble games since... Paperball. Actually, actually, we that was the only one we did. We never streamed a monkey ball game. Oh, I did Marble Madness and a Hamster Ball. But, uh... No, there's others. Uh, Marble It Up was a really good one that was recent. But I got that and I played it on my own, so... I don't know if it's quite worth uh, booting up for a stream of. Oh, boy. You know, it looks weird, but it is still technically Trials gameplay. Like, if you look at my rider, he's still kind of on a motorbike kind of thing. Oh, that was a crash? Okay, the sides can't touch anything. There's Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, the newest one. Uh, what, what about it? Wasn't that, like, not very good? That wasn't the one that was, like, uh, a remake of a Wii game, was it? Where they took levels that were incredibly easy on the Wii motion controls and made them insanely hard to to accommodate for the now lack of motion controls. Alright, no leaning. Ah! 
That was silver? All right. I think there's another Marvel game that came out recently that looked, like, really well made. All the good Monkey Ball games are being made by fans right now. The actual Monkey Ball franchise hasn't really lived up to Monkey Ball 2 again. Remastered collection of the trilogy. Was it a good remastered collection? I got no brakes! Not like I ever break anyway, but... How did I only get that far last time? Okay, that was silver. I need to go quite a ways for gold, it looks like. What are we up to? 124. How much is a tournament worth? I'm sorry. I know I keep saying that, oh, we'll be done with the stream, but just humor me for a moment. Press past the tournament to get bronze. They really have a whole tournament for just, like, one medal? Because, boy, that sounds annoying. I'll do it. I'll do one. It's a four-track tournament. This will be the last thing we do today. It was alright, but I prefer the originals. Did they change anything gameplay-wise compared to the original Monkey Balls? I have played Monkey Ball 1. I didn't care for it. But that's mostly because it... Like, you had to play like this, like this tournament mode. The only way to play Monkey Ball 1 was by doing a whole string of levels at once. It wasn't until Monkey Ball 2 that you could just, like, pick one level and do one level. If you do like monkey ball, monkey ball type games, then I would highly recommend uh, Paper Ball and uh, Marble It Up. Those are both great. I'll have to uh, I'll have to look at what the other one that's coming out is. Remember, Paper Ball had a co-op mode that was pretty cool. We didn't really explore it much because. Uh, we didn't want to do... Well, no, we did a... We did a stream of the Paperball co-op. I did most of the campaign single player. But, like, I, I, just, I just figured it was a game that Jack wouldn't want to be around for the entire thing for. Usually the thing that is the big difference maker in Monkey Ball fan games, or Monkey Ball style games, is uh, whether you can jump or not. Some of them are very traditional to, like, true monkey ball style, and you just can't jump. Some of them add jumping, and they still work. Rock of Ages, also not exactly the same type of game, but great game. Recommend Rock of Ages 2 or 3 to anyone who would, uh... Anyone who might check them out. Alright, last course. They do let you jump in Banana Mania. The remasters? Because that changes things pretty dramatically from the original games.
What's what's Matt Hoffman doing? Put his name on a game like this. Matt Hoffman's stupid bicycling. All right, that's another three points. We are eight away from the A license, so we will come back next time. We'll do a couple of these levels, get our A license. We'll have the rest of the game open to us, so uh, depending on how insane these levels get, we might have one more stream of this. But knowing this game, they'll probably be hard enough that we'll have to do two more streams. We'll see. Trials 2 is two streams. This this will realistically, this will also probably, probably be two streams. I also got Paper Mario that I do need to continue getting through and not putting off. So there's now two games that I'm playing solo. Uh, probably do something with Jack this weekend. Might be Breath of the Wild. We might do another Pokemon Emerald Rogue. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.